Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to do a shave video. Real quick, I'm going to wet the face. Real quick, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been watching our channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Well, today we are going to use a soap by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and it is Blue Salmon. You may have heard it called Blue Salmon. That's not right, though. I've been gnawing on this thing for a little while, and uh, it is definitely trying to take over first place in my PAA sense. And uh, on this particular soap, I'm definitely picking up the burnt sugar smell and uh you may kind of think it's kind of like a mapley smell but there's definitely a hint of uh let's see here i'll put a little profile picture there uh but it's got some uh, pumpkin in it and some bourbon excellent smell so uh let's talk about the razor so next i'm going to be using the razor by home like shaving this is their adjustable razor and uh, I have debuted this in the past. This is all stainless steel. And uh, the one thing that I love about this razor is it has the option that comes with it. Now, I don't know if it still comes with it or not, but uh, you can swap out this base plate for a solid bar or an open comb. And did I say it's my favorite adjustable razor? Okay, moving on to the blade. I have used this in the past, and this is the Gillette uh, Blue Blades, and these are from, uh, uh, I forget now, was it from China or Japan? But uh, anyway, it is a double-wrapped blade that comes in this little package here, and I'm just going to show you what the blade looks like. There's a lot of info on one side and not so much on the other, but for me... This is a uh, perfect combination between sharpness and smoothness, and yet you get several nice shaves out of it. So let's go ahead and load it into the razor. And uh, the one thing I did mention about this in the past, the uh, tightening knob of the handle does come out. And whenever you go to put it back together, you need to make sure you line up all the dots. But you just pull the top cap off. Let me grab my razor here, razor blade again. And, um, you know, just drop that dude on there. Got the dots lined up. I'll just get a little snug there on the top. And I think I'm going to go with setting three today. There we go. One thing about this uh, razor that every time I take it apart, whenever I'm done uh, cleaning it, I always put it in the highest position. So I always want to zero it out because one time I thought it was already on one, but it was actually like on 12. And I was like, ooh, this thing's got a little bite to it. <laughs> so be mindful of that. And we are going to use the Cube by PAA, which is in the same flavor of the Blue Ships. Man, why am I a little tongue-tied? Maybe I'm talking too quick. This is in the same flavor of the blue Samhain. Man, that's a nice smell. I do have the soap already whipped up here in the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And I'm using the StarCraft brush by PAA. <clears throat> It's Sunday, and it's time for a shave. Oh, man. I, I will tell you that I bought the body soap, and it is very pleasurable. So much that the Dobie thinks she needs to take a little lick off the pumpkin pie. <laughs> uh, as soon as I get out of the shower, she, she can smell it. She wants to come over. She thinks I have a treat for her. No treat. <laughs> All right. I do have a couple days worth of growth here. 
Let's go ahead and lift the razor. And let's get the shave going. Did you guys have a good weekend? Oh, yeah. The weekend is coming to an end. Oh, that slickness. It's there. And the razor has no issues. Mowing right through the stubble. Nice and smooth. <clears throat> So let's talk a little bit about the soap. This is the CK1 version of the soap. And I used a quarter of a teaspoon to whip up the lather and 10 milliliters of water. Uh, I think I'm gonna do just a quick video, maybe one day this week, uh, talking about you know how I whip up my lather. And then that way, if I get any questions I can just say hey go see this video <laughs> it seems like a good idea to me and with shaving it's it's all about preference how you like it so what works for me may not work for you and that's a uh, that's part of the problem with the the rabbit hole that we have is you're always seeking better and better you know you, you know who wants to settle for substandard or just okay so you see the ads and you hear the guys talking and you're like i gotta try that sometimes it works out and sometimes you're you're like i'm not listening to that guy anymore <laughs> let's go ahead and get lathered up for the second pass <clears throat> and uh, one thing I was going to talk about is the artwork on there. And to me, you know, seeing the pumpkin and the mouth open, it kind of looked like maybe it was a pumpkin that had set out just a little too long, but it might have been an angry pumpkin. <laughs> and uh, I don't really get into too much on the, the uh, artwork because I'm more interested in the soap. But... Uh, <clears throat> I thought it was kind of interesting, so I didn't know what uh, Blue Salmon meant, so I looked it up, and I was kind of, I knew it had to do something with Halloween or festival, and so <clears throat> depending on, you know, when uh, the phrase was used, you know, it could be just a celebration of the, the end of the harvest season or could lead you down a, a dark road and so uh, I was just kind of curious as what do you guys think uh, one of the things that was mentioned in a couple articles I read about was uh, you know back in the day people would believe and I'm sure there's people that still believe it that uh, Halloween or Blue Salmon the day that they're celebrating uh, <clears throat> was kind of an alignment of the uh, the doors or an opening of the doors that would allow you to connect between the human realm and the spiritual realm. And we all know that spirits can be good or bad. So, caution. <laughs> Off camera here, I've got a bowl full of cold water. Do a little rinse here. And a sweatshirt's probably not the, the best thing to shave in, but I got it done. And uh, it'll just help carry the smell a little bit with me, which is excellent. Follow that up with a little ice cube here. Did you know ice is nice? And I'm going to be using my Lancaster black sheep towel 
And since it's Halloween, might as well go with an orange. Hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the matching splash. Yes, I like that. I just placed another order for that because I, I thought just in case I don't make it until next year, I better get some now. I do feel like this uh, scent could be an all-around, all-year-around scent. And to top that off, we're going to do a little star jelly. You know, out of all of the times that uh, I'm always kind of conservative and I think about how many shades I'll get out of a blade or how much, how long will that soap last? I've never sat down and thought about how many shades would I get out of some star jelly? Let's do a little check here and see how we did. I'll have to do that and see. shave. Let's do a little lather porn. I always like doing this at the end. Sometimes I forget to do it in the video, but uh, you know, this is what we've got left. And man, that's some nice, nice shave cream. Final thoughts on the shave. Well, the Taiga razor produces an excellent shave. I did, I did enjoy it, and I always do. Never had a bad shave with it. These Gillette, I, I always want to say Gillette Silver Blue, but the uh, Gillette Blue Blade, nice shave, and the uh, PAA products were nice. Well, there you go. I will put a picture right here of everything that I used today. If I failed to mention something, please uh, feel free to ask questions. And I will see you guys on the next shave. You have a great rest of your weekend.